and forever, we, we can always watch the progressives talk about what was obvious is that we don't need money in politics. And that when we elect an official, we want that official to work for the, the people that elected him. And so, because of you, and we've, we've, I certainly believe that this is, when I looked out my window and I saw you, I thought Occupy Wall Street, man, we were occupying Wall Street because Wall Street controlled our future. And I've always been on message as, because I, I guess my own agenda was to get, and it's not mine, it's, I thought it was every general counsel everywhere on the top of their agenda was to get the money out of Wall Street, I mean out of Washington. And so t yesterday, today, uh, a constitutional amendment was um, introduced, and I've been talking about it, and it's, I've handed it out, but we waited until it was a bipartisan amendment to introduce it. Today it was introduced into, into um, our system. And the idea that no one will invest anything, no expenditures, the system sucks. no investment of any kind from your personal pocket to your friend's pocket, no super PAC, no anything. Very simple idea. It's absolute and simple. It's a place to start. And we created something called Occupy the Dream as a splinter or with your inspiration. And it was Dr. King's dream to have the civil rights community march with the young creative energy that America had along with the unions. And with that powerful group, there'd be a nucleus of an education process where we could talk about economic inequality. That was Dr. King's dream. And so, Occupy the Dream is based on that premise. Uh, we've gotten lots of support systems, including uh, the guy who I, I, I think is really helpful to us right now is Dr. Ben Chavis, who did the Million Man March. And I believe that we should have this conversation in Washington. Because as much as business is to blame, their collaborators are to blame as well. So it's a simple idea. It's a 90-10 issue. I don't care if you're a Tea Party member. I don't care if you're a, 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 a conservative, uh, I shouldn't say that mean way, but a conservative or progressive, you all want the politician to work for you. Yeah. We don't want politicians. Well, we got to have them. No, we don't. We don't have to. I'm saying, well, well I don't, listen. No, I, no, 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 no politicians. No. Anyway, I went yesterday, I traveled to, the, uh, to Washington, I spoke to the Progressive Caucus, and I don't know, 50 congressmen, they all seem to sign on. I know that it's comfortable sitting there and getting the most money and winning the election every time. But I think we can push the politicians to support our efforts, but certainly the people have to make them do it. So I'm just here to talk about, along with Occupy Wall Street, that one of those splinter groups that we're helping to create is Occupy the Dream. You're the center. You're trying to Occupy Wall Street. I'm not trying to Occupy Occupy Wall Street. I came out there. Yeah, I'm just a supporter. I don't need to ask. I don't want to talk about it. Anyway, thank you so much for what you're doing. You're changing this country, and God bless you.